perfectly cut. Hi, welcome to the GameCraft YouTube channel, where we take video game characters and bring them to life in the art form known as Papercraft. I'm Mike, the Papercraft artist and designer, and today I'm making a video about the Silhouette Cameo 4, which is an automated cutting machine that I use in conjunction with the Papercraft software, and it takes a lot of time out of the Papercraft process. Now, I did make a previous video where I showed uh, me doing a setup and how I actually use the machine, and I got a lot of feedback that I should probably go into to the troubleshooting part of it because there were a lot of things that I had to do to get this thing to work correctly. Before we get started, be sure that you're subscribed to the GameCraft YouTube channel and turn alerts on so you don't miss another video. Thank you. We'll be going over the creation that I'm doing here, which is the Half-Life Antlion. I did make a previous video on, on how exactly to port that. And after designing it in the Papercraft software that I use, which is Papercura Designer, I can export it into a format that the Silhouette Cameo can read, so it can cut perfectly. The software that I use for the development of the Papercraft is Papacura Designer. And after I design the template completely, I use a program called Papacura Viewer for Silhouette Cameo, which exports a file that the Silhouette Cameo can read. So the way that this works, is it will print out a registration mark, which is you can see here. Here I actually have one of the prints, so you can see that the registration mark here is at the bottom. And it also prints these lines in the corners. And there's also one right here as well. The Silhouette Cameo has a scanner that will scan these registration marks so it knows specifically on the paper where to cut. So far the torso is composed of these first couple pages. And we're on the fourth page right now, which is the one that I have here. Let me go ahead and take it out. The paper that I've used on this is cardstock. It is thick paper. That way that my paper craft models are very durable. Once you're ready to print, of course, you'd go to file print here and you would print a copy. I already have the copy printed out. But what you do is click this export DXF file. So when you click that, um, I'll just go ahead and create a new folder here for the demonstration. And then I'd click save. This is talking about the fold lines, like the mountain folds and the valley folds for uh, the paper craft. So you'll want to click yes. And make sure that you click yes each time because for however many pages you have to click yes. Peppercura Viewer for Silhouette Cameo has some specific instructions to follow to get this set up properly. I'm just going to briefly go over that because it's not too in-depth here. It tells you that you can export the DXF file, which I just demonstrated. Set the registration mark, which when you're in Peppercura Viewer, there's a button right here. You'll click that. You'll select Type 1. And you'll want to make sure that that specified amount is also in Silhouette Studios, which you can see here, it's the same. And this is telling you again, make sure that the paper size is the same, make sure the orientation is correct, and Peppercore Reviewer as well. So file document information is where you'll see the paper type. So here I have the file loaded into the Silhouette Studio software. In page setup, you'll turn registration marks on and for Papakura, you'll need to use inverted for the orientation. So it'll be usually set to default and you'll want to change that to inverted. Here is one of the pages that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to take a few moments to laminate this. I'm going to get the silhouette cameo in the shot and we'll go ahead and proceed. All right, so we're done here. Uh, this is fully laminated, as you can see. It's really nice and shiny. Uh, I also made sure that this is laminated, the corner registration marks, and the registration marks here as well, shiny. 
So that all looks good. Uh, just so you guys know, I use HD clear duct tape. This is the extra wide kind. So this is uh, more girthy. So it's time to insert the sheet into the Cameo machine. We have the registration mark at the top here. And there's also an arrow here, so you know the orientation of the layout in Silhouette Studio software. With the arrow facing the Cameo, I'm lining the mat with the insertion lines on the machine. Press the insert button and it's ready. There's a common problem with the machine not reading the registration mark sometimes. This can be avoided by flipping the mat up like this, but I'll actually show you in a minute here. Okay, so I'm ready to send the job to the Silhouette Cameo. I have the preset selected here. This is for cardstock that's laminated. Black is for the outline. So I've selected cut with a blade size of eight. The force is 25. And we're gonna keep speed at 25 all the way around. I'm going to do four separate passes to make sure that the cuts are made successfully. The red lines and the blue lines are going to be folds. So we're only going to score those folds to make a small indentation. The score settings that I've selected here is going to be one for the blade size and force 11. We're gonna keep speed at 25 and only one pass. So that's red. Let's go ahead and check blue to make sure everything is the same and everything is the same for blue as well. Green is going to be the registration marks. Now that's not going to matter so much because you don't need to cut those, but I like to see that it's cutting successfully make sure that everything is aligned because sometimes it doesn't read the registration mark successfully and it cuts a little bit off. So seeing those first couple cuts on the green sections uh, does come in handy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and send this job to the machine. So here's my send button at the bottom. Once I click the send button to the machine, I'm going to go over there and slightly curve the mat to make sure that there's no glare. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So it's going to scan for the registration mark. I'm going to flip it up like this. And looks like it read it successfully. So it's reading the lines now in the corners. The reason it causes an error like that, I think it's because the way that the cutting mat is inserted into the Cameo, it's rolled downwards. And it causes a distortion for the paper being flat. And the little square for the registration mark is distorted a little bit when that happens. So by flipping it up, it kind of straightens it out so the machine can read it better. When I do the second page, I'll try to replicate the error that I'm talking about. Because if you don't flip it up, there's a possibility that it won't read the registration mark properly. And there she goes. Now that it's scanned the registration marks, it knows precisely where to cut. This is going to take a while, so we'll hit the fast forward button on the VCR. This is currently the newest Cameo model, and it's much faster than the previous version. The speed on the last one went up to a level 10, but this one goes up to a level 30 in the software. With a project as complex as this one, it's going to take at least 5 or 10 minutes to finish up. Alright, so while we were waiting, I went ahead and laminated the next page that I'm going to go ahead and send here as well. I'm going to send the job but I'm not going to fold it like I did the first time to see if I can replicate the error. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Again, line it up with the markings on the machine. And press the insert button. I'm going to send it, but this time I'm not going to adjust it. And just as I thought, we have a registration error. As you can see here, it says registration failed. So this is a very, very common thing that I ran into when I was first trying to get this to work. I'm going to adjust the camera one more time. That way that you can get a very close up shot and I'll, I'll go ahead and do it again. When I click the send button, I'm going to flip it up as soon as I send this. I'm sending it now. And as I thought, it read it successfully.
After using this machine, I can't believe that I used to cut these templates out by hand before. After using the Cameo, I can get an entire model cut just within an hour. You should check out my previous time-lapse videos where I used to cut these out by hand. It was agonizing. Alright, so while I was waiting for the machine to finish cutting, I went ahead and laminated the other two pages here. So these are the final two pages that I have to do. This is the one that's uh, finished. So it appears that everything is cut smoothly. I don't see any mess ups or anything like that. So um, it just looks good. We'll go ahead and peel it off out here. This is the most satisfying part. Hopefully there's no problems. There might be a couple snags here and there, but overall, it should just come right up. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to take these pieces off one by one. They should just come right up off the adhesive here. So I'm actually going to put them into a plastic bag because I like to keep them organized. So I know which pieces belong to which page. This makes it a lot easier. Looks good. There we go and press it down on the adhesive. All right, so these are the last few pages that I need to have cut. Again, I'm sending the job and curving the cutting mat up so there's no registration error. While the machine finishes up that page, I'm going to peel off the pieces from the page that just previously finished cutting. I have multiple cutting mats so I can prepare the next page and have it ready as soon as the current page finishes. And now the last page, on to the final cut. All right, so we got all four of the pages cut and they're all nice and organized in these bags for each page. I have four bags here for the four pages I cut. And if you could only imagine how long it would take if I actually had to in cut them individually with scissors, um, that would be a pretty long time. So this machine definitely helps me out. Yeah, this guy's gonna turn out pretty good. Just gotta finish them up now see it is those legs are going to be pretty difficult so we'll see how it turns out but otherwise uh let me know if you have any questions about the silhouette cameo you won't be using the registration mark so much unless you're actually designing something in pepakura so um let me know if you want to collaborate if you are a, pep, a paper craft designer i would love to uh, collaborate with other people in the paper craft space but um, if you're interested also in uh, purchasing the template, let me know. Um, you can reach out to us at gamecraft at gmail.com, which is our business address. All the links are going to be in the description below. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to all of our current patrons. Uh, we definitely appreciate your support and everyone that's subscribed to the channel. We definitely appreciate you tuning in. So once again, thanks for joining Gamecrafts. Bring games to life.